Welcome back to part two of Vampire 101. Protecting yourself against and warding off vampires. In part one, we talked about not inviting a vampire into your home. Now let's talk part two. The use of garlic and other herbs. We will let our alchemy expert, Rosemary, cover the basics. Hi, my name is Rosemary and I am the alchemist here. I make all kinds of potions to help rid you of witches, demons, werewolves, and of course, vampires. However, I am here to help you prepare products that you probably already have in your kitchen to help protect you from vampires. Let's start with the most popular vegetable, garlic. Feed them garlic and they're going to anaphylactic shock. Garlic was given in a form of flowers by Dr. Abraham Van Helsing to Lucy Westerna when she was bitten by the infamous Dracula. He deviated it around her room and placed some around her neck. Garlic has some great healing properties. Lucy was starting to feel better until Lucy's mother threw all of it away and in the process threw away any chance of her recovery. And we all know how it ended with her. However, garlic for centuries has been used as medicine and has even been used against demons, witches, and vampires. There are many other herbs that can be used to protect yourself from evil spirits, including aloe, SPP, angelica, fennel, nettle, hazel, and pure salt. Grab links of this stuff you can wear around your neck and hang from your window. Go to your local health food store, buy and take several dozen tablets of garlic pills. You want to make yourself as tasteless as possible. This will surely keep them away. Well, that's it for now. Stay tuned for more. If y'all have any questions, please email us at vampiresarenotyourfriends at gmail.com. And also, subscribe to our channel.